Skip it up and that up. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Rich of Review Tech USA, and I use Geraldo Rivera's amazing mustache to groom my chest hair. Okay, so this video honestly is gonna suck to make, but I have to talk about it because I'm somewhat metaphorically being pinned against the wall to talk about it. One thing I wanna talk about, and that is my stance on digital distribution, and the other one I have to talk about because I've been receiving messages off the hook about it, is Acta, okay? And we're gonna start this video off talking about Acta. Acta is a treaty, a worldwide treaty. I think 39 countries are gonna sign onto it or have signed onto it. Acta stands for the Anti-Counterfeiting Trade Agreement. And what this treaty does is it covers everything from intellectual properties to copyrights to trademarks. It protects companies against people who make counterfeit Prada bags. So it'll cover physical products as well. It's not just like I said, it, it's not just about the internet. And because of what happened with SOPA and PIPA and people were kind of now searching all over to see what else is going on, because SOPA and BIPA opened up their eyes to what's going on around the world and going on with politics, people started paying attention to ACTA. Now, ACTA hasn't been as hidden from the mainstream media as you think. Um, Fox News had uh, stories on it. CNET's been covering for a long time. I actually spoke to Declan McCullough uh, about ACTA, and it hasn't been as secretive. I mean, the, the initial language of this treaty was, but it hasn't been hidden. It's just that no one paid attention to it until after SOPA and PIPA came around because they were searching around the internet to see if there are any other laws that had to do with the internet. So that's when people started paying attention a few weeks ago, even though this bill, this treaty, I should say, I keep saying bill, has been around for years. Now, when ACTA was first introduced, when WikiLeaks first posted the ACTA treaty, it made SOPA and PIPA look like kittens. I mean, they were gonna do if you, went, if you were traveling and you had an iPod with you, they were going to do searches and look through your iPod to see if you had copyrighted so illegal songs on there, like you downloaded stuff. They were going to do a three strikes and you're out rule, uh, where if you were caught doing three infringing things in the internet, they would cut off your internet access. There was a ton of other things in there as well that have been removed. And one of the things that concerns me a lot is that people are spreading these videos all over the internet that are old, okay, and they were made when there were provisions in this treaty, there was language in this treaty that has been removed. So those videos you're watching, especially one of them is from like 2009, um, is totally outdated and virtually everything in that video is null and void. ACTA has pretty much become, okay, minus a couple things which Senator Wyden has brought up to President Obama has pretty much become a mirror image of current US law. So we're not gonna feel the effects of ACTA here. There's two problems with ACTA though. The first one is, is that other countries don't have the safeguards that we have, okay? So if we implement US law through this treaty in Ireland, for example, they don't have a clear and cut fair use clause like we do. So say for example, someone wants to do a review of a Konami game over there, and they use the Konami logo in the game or in this blog or whatever and Konami's pissed because they don't like what they're saying they could go after them and say it's copyright infringement even though if it was done in the states it would just be considered fair use and Konami wouldn't be able to touch me that's why a lot of people in Europe are going nuts over this treaty the second thing is if the European Parliament signs ACTA this June it's supposed to be signed no earlier than June of 2012 it's now a treaty it's a standard for the entire world and even though it more or less uh, treads the line of current US law, if we wanna change copyright law in the states, it's gonna be a nightmare to do it. And our laws are draconian and ridiculous. $150,000 per song you download and people are getting extradited from other countries, our laws are draconian. And if we ever wanna change them, it's gonna be next to impossible for Congress to do that. That's the other big thing about ACTA that I don't like. Now, a lot of people are going after me, you know, and messaging me and saying that, you know, I'm being hypocritical because I'm not going after ACTA the same way I went after SOPA and PIPA. You have to understand, this is a tech channel, okay? I know I talk about current events here and there, even before SOPA and PIPA, but generally this, this channel is about gaming and it's about tech. If I go after every single thing that concerns me in the world, 
I'll go crazy. This channel will turn into the Young Turks 2.0, and I can't have that happen. It's not what I want to do. Now, there are a lot of things I disagree with with ACTA, okay? Uh, I don't agree with the fact that, you know, generic drugs could be looked at as counterfeit drugs. Certain ones, not all of them. Multi-region DVD players may become illegal under it. There's things like that that bother me, but it's not as imminent of a threat as SOPA and PIPA were slash are. I mean, they're stalled right now. They're very stalled, borderline dead, but they're still there. And for me to, you know, sit here for months and months and months and make active videos every day is not beneficial to me. It's not beneficial to you when it's not beneficial to this channel. And for everyone out there who's saying that I haven't done my research and that I'm being lazy, I have read dozens of articles on ACTA. Like I said to you, I actually talked to Dick Land McCullough, who is the legal correspondent for CNET, and talked to him via Twitter about it, okay? I have done tons of research on this topic. And on top of it too, if Demand Progress isn't making a stink about this, Fight for the Future isn't making a stink about this, don't you think if there was an imminent threat with ACTA, they would also be speaking up about it? You aren't seeing Google go after ACTA the way they were going after SOPA and PIPA. They were initially, back in 2010, making a big deal about ACTA because there were a lot of provisions even back then, that was only a couple years ago, uh, that were in the treaty that could have been very dangerous, but a lot of it has been removed. Okay, and I'm not going to be the person who waves the warning flag when people with a lot more expertise when it comes to law are saying, hey, this isn't as big of a deal, relax. Okay, I'm not going to be the person who gives false information, which in turn will create fear, and I'll be a fear monger, and that's not what I do. You guys have to learn something, man. You have to learn to have independent thought. Don't just watch a couple videos or read one or two articles and think that you know everything about it. That's not healthy, that's not what should be done. And everyone was calling SOPA and PIPA a distraction from ACTA? ACTA is actually a distraction to the SOPA-like bills that are being introduced in Canada and Ireland right now. There's a bill in Canada right now called C-11 which has SOPA-like features in it that's very dangerous. And there's another bill in Ireland that's also like SOPA that's very dangerous. And the reason you should be concerned about those bills all over the world is because if one country passes a SOPA-like bill, the rest are all going to follow suit, including the United States. Okay, so if you want to talk about a distraction, ACTA is a distraction from those pieces of legislation. And if you live in Canada and Ireland, you should do a ton of research right now. The other thing I want to talk about, I've made videos before on digital distribution, is my take on digital distribution. I'm not for or against optical medium or digital distribution, okay? If God came down tomorrow or there was a law passed that said digital distribution is illegal and you can only get games and software through optical medium, I could give a crap. What I'm talking about though is the reality of digital distribution. In a few years, probably about five years, digital distribution is going to be the main form that everyone is going to get software and games from, right? It already happened with music, it's happening right now with movies, it's pretty much a done deal with movies. This is the reality of it. And I'm very tired of people you know, coming after me and saying that I don't know what I'm talking about or I want to see the economy, you know, get damaged by the fact that digital distribution is taking over. It's just a natural evolution in the way that we're receiving our products. It's a natural evolution in technology. That's, a, you know, it was funny. Someone said to me, oh, you want to see, you know, manufacturing go away. You want to see, you know, places like GameStop go away. So you might as well just have supported SOPA then. And I'm like, what are you talking about? That's like saying to me that I support a piece of damning legislation because I get most of my music through iTunes now. I don't get it on CD anymore because it's just more convenient to do. That's the reality of it. I'm not saying that digital distribution is going to take over tomorrow, but it's going to happen over time, slowly but surely. It's already happening now. And on top of it, you know, game developers and publishers love it because of the fact you get rid of manufacturing costs. You don't have to pay delivery teams to drop your product off. You don't have to pay for manuals, for cases, for CDs and DVDs and Blu-rays to get printed. It, it makes them a lot more money. It kills the middleman. And yes, on top of it, it's gonna make the used game market die. Now, am I saying that I wanna see people lose jobs? Do I wanna, you know, do I, like I said, do I care how I get my software? No, 
but that's the reality of it. Don't come after me and say that I'm looking to see, you know, the economy get damaged or, you know, I want to see or I'm pro digital distribution. I've made videos about it before, giving the reality of why digital distribution is going to take over, but I'm just telling you like it is. If you don't like hearing what how it is, then don't watch my videos because that's all I'm going to give you. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm touching the 11 minute mark here. I will promise you this. If I find out about a piece of legislation that I consider dangerous, I will talk about it. Just keep your eyes open, keep a balanced mind, and look into things. Do your own research. Don't look at one video or one article or even a couple articles and then get fanatical about something because you're going to waste a lot of energy, waste a lot of time, and stress yourself out for no reason. This is Ridge Review Tech USA. Signing out. And yes, I know that Daryl Issa said that Acta is more dangerous than SOPA. He said that for a couple reasons. One, he despises the Obama administration. He has said it before. He thinks it's the most corrupt administration in United States history, which is utter BS, but that's a different story. And two is because it's a worldwide treaty and it has to do with other things like generic drugs and to be honest with you, some things could be considered a counterfeit that are totally legitimate. That's why he said that, all right? I'm keeping up on all this, people. Anyway, guys, just wanted to add that in before I end this video. Have a good one once again.